Now we finally get some official features that are coming to the iPhone and Apple Watch with iOS 16 and watchOS 9 and I wanted to share those features with you guys of course in this video. Super exciting stuff, a lot of great features. These are coming directly from Apple. They posted on their newsroom an article featuring or previewing some of the features for accessibility users that are becoming later this year and I wanted to share those features with you guys. Now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates so don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as I mentioned these features are coming directly from Apple this was posted on Apple's website so you can expect these features to roll out to your iPhone and Apple watch later this year now the first feature I want to talk about is door detection so this feature will allow your iPhone to tell you if you're approaching a door now if you have issues if you're visually impaired detecting distance or actually seeing objects in this case a door door detection of course for accessibility users is going to be a must-have feature in order to approach doors and be able to determine distance between those doors so it's a pretty cool feature here for door detection now we also have captions coming to facetime so facetime now rather you're in a group call or a one-on-one -on -one personal facetime call you'll be able to read what the other person is saying and again as this picture shows us here apple is also bringing this to group facetime calls as well so captions is actually coming to facetime with ios 16 later this year now apple has also been working on on books you will now have more control over your fonts fonts size and you'll be able to change and choose your fonts for your books for better visibility obviously and more comfort for you to read your books so yeah fonts will you'll have more controls in your books in order to have a better visibility for your fonts and it's gonna be a great feature for those that love reading on their iPhones. I'm expecting this to come to iPad as well. Now there's also some changes happening with Siri. This is a feature that I've been wanting for quite some time and it's the ability to show apps behind Siri. So when you interact with Siri, oftentimes the screen becomes blurry. You'll be able to now interact with apps in the background while you use Siri. So you'll be able to visually see everything you're doing as you use Siri within iOS 16, as you can see right here. So you'll be able to visually uh, see everything while Siri is in action. So yeah, show apps behind Siri, a feature that I've been waiting on. It's finally coming with iOS 16. Great news. I'm happy to hear this there's also the ability to actually record certain sounds so you'll be able to actually record sounds let's say a doorbell maybe a fire alarm or maybe an appliance in your home where you can go ahead and record that particular sound and your iphone should be able to alert you if that sound is heard around you and you don't hear it yourself so your iphone will be able to notify you so saving sounds to your iphone will be another great accessibility feature coming for accessibility users later this year and last but not least apple has also mentioned that Apple Watch mirroring will be coming for accessibilities later this year. So think of this of AirPlay mirroring when you do it for a TV, for example, where you mirror your iPhone to a larger display. Well, in this case, you should be able to mirror your Apple Watch that's paired to your iPhone so you can interact with your Apple Watch interface directly on your iPhone using AirPlay. Now, sometimes it could be hard to tap some of these elements on the Apple Watch. And if you're visually impaired, this could be an issue. So AirPlay mirroring for Apple Watch is something that's coming later this year. I'm really looking forward to this one. This one is a feature that will allow you to, you know, just interact with your Apple Watch display in a much larger display, which is something that many users have been wanting for quite some time. And again, these are features coming directly from Apple. So this will be happening again later this year with presumably iOS 16 and watchOS 9, obviously. So let me know what you think about these features in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.